You know we're all aware of those three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, but it's the order of how they're listed, like reduce and reuse. Those are the things that we should always do before we ever resort to recycling. And when it comes to plastic pots, I'm all about reusing them first. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five simple things that you can do to reuse those plastic pots before you ever have to resort to the recycle bin. We've been talking a lot so far about recycling plastic pots, and that's a very good thing, but it's not the best thing. And as we've already seen, it's not the easiest thing to do. Now in that hierarchy of those three R's, you know, reduce, reuse, and recycle, number one is reduce, and number two is reuse. So those should be the first two things we're trying to do before we ever get around to recycle, number three. So that first R stands for reduce. When it comes to plastic pots, I'm all for reducing their use. Fortunately, some companies are making good strides to create suitable biodegradable alternatives to that all too common plastic pot. Another option for reducing your consumption of plastic pots is to buy bare root plants, typically from mail order nurseries. While there are pros and cons of bare root plants and trees, it certainly is a viable option for eliminating more pots at your house. Now for all those times you find yourself facing a pile of plastic pots from that latest landscaping or gardening project, this is the perfect time to put that second R into play and it stands for reuse. Now for me it's the easiest one to put into practice and I know a lot of you feel the same way from your responses to our online poll, many of you are reusing your pots as well. So even if recycling is an option where you live, here's a partial list of some of our favorite ways to reuse those plastic pots before you ever send them off to recycle. Save your containers for your own personal use. The more you garden, the more you'll find times where you'll need to pot up something, move a plant, divide some perennials, or shop from your yard to add to your own landscape, or pot up to give to friends and family. For me, I do all those things. And I especially love having an assortment of containers on hand for all the cuttings I love to take for making more plants. Yet in all cases, these saved pots are a lifesaver for having a ready supply standing by for whenever they're needed. And because of their relatively consistent size and shape, they're easy to stack and store, out of the way, out of sight, until you're ready to put them back into service. So even if you're not one to pot up your own plants, surely you know somebody that is, so give them to a friend, or better yet, Find an organization like your local master gardeners who are always in need of these pots for their annual plant sales slash fundraisers. They'll really come in handy there. Or find a horticultural organization or maybe a community garden or a school that has a gardening program or a local nursery. And if all else fails, go on FreeCycle or Craigslist and post it there because you will surely find some takers. But the bottom line is this, for a small investment of your time, you can certainly find a home for the plastic pots you no longer need. Another tip on our list for reusing plastic pots is the pot and pot tip. Now if you're the kind of person that always likes to have your best looking color front and center when those guests arrive, try this. Dig a hole in the ground and put an empty plastic pot into it. And then go ahead and buy your seasonal color. Leave the plant in the pot and put it into the empty pot. So as your guests arrive, you're looking over your plants and you might see, well, one doesn't look so good and you wanna change it out. So rather than digging the plant out and then putting another one in its place with all that extra work, all you have to do is pull the plant out, put another one in its place, straighten up the mulch a little bit, and no one is the wiser. Now this tip is also great for extending the season on seasonal color, especially bulbs like tulips. And one other benefit, for those voles that come and eat around the base of the plant, having it in a pot protects them as well. One popular response and a great tip in our list was this. A lot of gardeners out there use smaller pots to throw into larger pots before filling with soil and plants. It makes the larger pots much lighter and requires a lot less soil too. 
Another option is to invert a medium-sized pot into the larger pot, then fill with soil and plant. The end result is a much lighter container, less soil use, and ample planting space.